Hi, I am Andreas, and in this Nexperia video series, we will explain everything about ESD protection. What is the difference between device and system level robustness? All electronic components must withstand a certain level of electrostatic discharge during assembly and production. Here we have different tests, such as the human body model and the charge device model. However, these pulses do not allow our indication for ESD protection on the PCB in operation mode. Thus, we need a different angle called system level. Here we look at the PCB of the application and it's tested with a pulse combining human body model and the charge device model. The pulse is standardized in IEC 61000-4-2. To sum up, device level robustness is for assembly safety. System level robustness is for the application operation mode. Both is essential to prevent field failures. But for system level protection, you need up to 30 kV. And here you should think of an external ESD protection. Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to learn more, write your questions in the comments below, visit nexperia.com and check out our ESD application handbook. Thanks for watching.